and celebrity makeup artist and I'm going to be talking today about what not to wear in terms of makeup in your 40s and 50s. Now I don't really like the term what not to wear. I think that women are their own best makeup artist and they know what looks good on them. So I sort of don't like to limit women just because of their age. I think that women should be able to celebrate their age but look fantastic. That being said, I do think there's a few things you want to take into consideration. So I want to walk you through what we've done on this beautiful model. Now in terms of eyeshadow, you want to make sure that you don't wear shades that are too frosty or too high, too um, really glittery and shimmery. You want to stay away from products in general that are glitter or high shimmer. Just for the simple fact that they will enunciate and sort of enhance your wrinkles. You want to make sure that you're using a really healthy, clean foundation, that your skincare routine is intact, um, you want to make sure that you're using products that are lightweight but good coverage and give you what you need in terms of um, your foundation. So we did put just a um, skin perfecting foundation, some powder over the top. We did a little bronzing as a contour underneath. We've done a gel blush on top so it's more moisturizing and it doesn't fall into the wrinkles. On her eyes, as I did begin to mention, we did more of a matte finish some satin finish is fine with the eyeshadow, but you do not want high frost again or any glitter in your eye products at all. So go ahead and close your eye for me. We did apply just some na very natural looking um, false eyelashes on her. We did a very matte black across the lash line just to give her that kind of eyeliner um, definition there. Also kind of blended up into in this area on the lid, sort of a bone color, and then a medium brown tone into the crease. So it just enhances with those earth tones that aren't too high or frosty, too frosty or shimmery. Go ahead and open your eye for me. We, I think that, you know, you can't um, undervalue how much, I think brows play an incredible part in making a mature face look fantastic. If you have healthy brows, and actually a thicker brow is actually, um, it makes them look more young. It's a very, it's a much more natural maintenance in terms of how hard it is to keep up. I think thinner brows just tend to make you look older. So consider having a fuller brow as you mature in age. So we just filled hers in. We did do a little bit of eyeliner underneath. If you'll look up for me for a minute. You want to be cautious with liner and keep the, lin the line actually thin. Um, thick, heavy liner all around the eye is actually just going to cause the wrinkles to enhance. Concealer becomes very important at this age. And what we did with her beautiful mouth, she has nice full lips. We actually didn't use liner on her. We just went ahead and laid down a nice satin finish lipstick. You want to, again, in this area, especially if you have a lot of wrinkles around in the lip area or outside of your lip line, be careful and not apply products that are high frost or really glittery. We're just going to complete this look as we've walked through it. And this is just a nice satin finish gloss because gloss is fine, it's hydrating, it'll help seal the lipstick, and you can enhance your lips this way without you know, maybe worrying that it's too young for you or that it's contributing to you looking older. And that just brings out that fullness of our beautiful lips. Perfect. Okay. I'm Lisa Nelson, celebrity makeup artist, and that's what I would advise what not to wear with your makeup between the ages of 40 and 50.